Yo, what up folks, Treptis G here. We've just had day one of European Regional Championships for Pioneer, and the deck that finished that day 9-0 is Storm Herald Combo in the hands of Mark Tobiask. Now, the list looks a little bit different in Explorer. I'll kind of get into that, but I'll talk through how it works in Pioneer first. I have a link to the Pioneer list in the description as well, but the key card here is Storm Herald. Two and a red for a 3-2 with haste. When it enters the battlefield, return any number of aura cards from your graveyard to the battlefield attached to control. Exile those auras at the beginning of your next end step, and if those auras would leave the battlefield, exile them instead of putting them anywhere else. And so we're trying to kill our opponent the turn we play Storm's Herald. We attach it to itself or other creatures we already have in play. How are we doing that? So, in Pioneer, we use Colossification, which actually is legal on Arena, but has a problem. Uh, so classification is 5 green green enchant creature when classification enters the battlefield tap enchanted creature that is the problem uh, and enchanted creature gets plus 20 plus 20. kind of makes sense you want to like play storms herald bring back classification give it plus 20 plus 20 attack that sounds nice but the sense of the battlefield trigger to tap the enchanted creature means that classification doesn't work it taps itself and then it will get exiled on end step to storm herald's ability now, in Pioneer, we have a way to get around that, and that is with the Binding Anger. Four and a red enchantment aura. Again, Storm Herald only brings back auras, no other enchantments. But enchanted creature has tap. This creature deals damage equal to its power to target creature or player. To play Storm's Herald, you bring back a Colossification and a Burning Anger, attach them to the same creature, and then with the Colossification trigger to tap the creature on the stack, you activate Burning Anger to deal that 20, 40, 60, plus whatever the creature's power is damage to your opponent and kill them. That's the idea. However, because on Arena we don't have Burning Anger, I've got a bit of a different route here to kind of adapt it for the list for Explorer. There are another couple of cards missing. So the enchantments, we do have classification on Arena, but we don't have a way to get around that tapping creatures enchanted to. So instead we've got Predictable Growth, which is the largest kind of power bonus we've got available to us on Arena. Six mana, plus seven, plus seven, and Trample. That Trample line actually being able to have Trample wrapped up into the biggest stat boost is super, super important. And then the next thing we have is Man's of the Wolf. It turns out actually that the next biggest enchantment kind of stat boost on Arena is plus four, plus four, which is, you know, a bit of a downgrade, so we'll see how this actually plays out. Uh, I'm going to take this into some ranked games. So we'll go through the deck. Um, it has this whenever it's put into a graveyard for the battlefield, create two wolf creature tokens ability. But actually, with Storm Herald, it actually exiles this. Because it's only four mana, you can play it legitimately. Um, we do have creatures that we can beat down with. And so maybe you get some value that way. There are a couple of other options in terms of utility stuff, but in terms of kind of just assembling the power to kill your opponent and attack through a trample. Mance of the Wolf is the largest statistical buff. The other thing that's different here is that we're missing Gather the Pack. So Gather the Pack is a one in a green sorcery. Reveal the top five cards of your library. You reveal a creature card from among them, put it into your hand, and then the rest go into your graveyard. If you have Spell Mastery, so two or more instances or sorceries in your graveyard, then, then it finds two creature cards instead of one. So pretty handy. And basically what we've done to replace this is we've kind of ticked up the numbers elsewhere. I will say, and I'm going to put marks this on the screen now, this list actually has 61 cards. So I've also kind of trimmed down to 60. And so the three other cards are replacing those Gather the Packs with our, an extra copy of Ledger Shredder, which kind of helps your plan B. An extra copy of Scrapwork Mutt, which lets you loot through your deck, discard auras that you may draw to your graveyard so you can bring them back. And then we've also got an extra copy of Secret Keeper. The original list was only paying three. I think that's pretty fair. I think that's a good way to replace those. Another one that hopefully we get on Arena soon. Burning Anger would be a nice one, but neither of these are kind of near the top of Wizards prior to this, I don't think looking at things like Lotus Field, but we'll see what shakes up. I'm hoping for another like anthology or remastered set in July or August. We've got a bit of a down time between now and the next standard set. The rest of the list then, we've got those four secret keepers, which I just mentioned. Uh, target player and Millsville cards, obviously targeting ourselves here, trying to get always into the graveyard to bring out the Storm's Herald. Fair enough. Also gives you a body that you can block with or enchant onto later in the game if things go that way. Four copies of Otherworldly Gaze, which is a really terrific job here. Gives you some card selection to help find the Storm Herald while also letting you kind of dump other uh, champions in the graveyard. And hey, it's got flashback too. Traverse is one of the kind of recent adaptations that's really put the stack over the top because we've got cards putting cards into graveyards, because we've got card types like enchantments and also artifacts with Scrapbook, it's really easy to enable. And then it gives us a one mana way to then tutor for Storm's Herald. Ledger Shredder is a really, really powerful one. Obviously, another way to loot auras that we've drawn 
into our graveyard, but also gives you a flying attacker that you can enchant onto with the Storm Herald ability. That evasion is pretty handy. And also, hey, it lets you beat down, gives you a bit of a plan B. You've got Scrap Equip, which I just mentioned. Again, nice to have an artifact with Traverse, but hey, another way to kind of loot through your deck and get these auras into your graveyard. Say of Wi-Fi that kind of does everything. Finding extra lands or finding your like third land, fourth land is super, super important. Also, hey, gets those cards into the graveyard, which is exactly what I'm going to be doing. Can't talk enough about Fable, but don't want to spend too much time on it because it's obviously just super, super powerful. Again, gives you a nice alternate way to win and pressure your opponent obviously makes two halves really important important kind of has to deal with both of them kind of combines with ledger shredder to give you an alternate angle of attack too enough on that um and then yeah so we've got man's of the wolf and prodigious growth as our two enchantments of choice 12 cards different there's a 61st card uh which we're not playing which would be a gather the pack here that we kind of like swapped out and then we've got classification we swapped out for prodigious growth because we haven't got a way to get around that Tap itself ability, unfortunately, at least at the moment. We swapped Burning Anger for Man to the Wolf to try and assemble the power that we need to kill our opponent here. We'll see how potent it is without the actual full combo in. I'm going to take this into your best of one Explorer ranks. Uh, just very quickly through the lands. It's really important here that we have access to all our colors as fast as possible. We want to be casting one spell on turn one, one to two spells on turn two, two to three spells on turn three, uh, or, or killing them with Storm Herald ideally. And so our colors are super important. So, and we've got a Mana Confluence, we've got some Pain Lands with Yavimaya Coast and Completion Forest, two copies of each. A Breeding Pool, four copies each of Botanical Sanctum and Spire Bluff Canal. Apart from Traverse, you're not really needing past three mana. We do, maybe we'll get into situations where we need to cast Mount of the Wolf from our hand but we're hoping to avoid that. Uh, there is one more fast land here in a couple line gorge, and then we've got two Besagey, deal with problematic artifacts enchantments, a mountain, a island, and an Ottawara for some utility. All right, let's hop into the best of one ranked. If you're not ready, please do subscribe to the channel. And yeah, I'm curious to see how this deck can compete in Explorer without the burning anger classification kind of combo that puts it over the top in Pioneer. Let's see, let's see. All right, first match here with Storm Herald combo. We'll see how we do. I think I'll play five best of one matches and uh, see how that performs. I'm going to do some limit testing, so hopefully you don't have to. <laughs> um, but hey, we'll see, we'll see. That's some faith. We don't have a red source here, but other one of the gays, take away finder, should hopefully be able to find us some. Um, and we've got a few enablers to try and get some champs at the graveyard. Stormcarved Coast. Interesting. I'm going to I'm just going to pass. I'm, just gonna pass. I'm so used to putting stops on people's second main phases. Um, I mean, we'll get priority back anyway. Rixis. Oh, this could be alteration actually. Hmm. Interesting. If you haven't seen it yet, there's a new Arc Fiend alteration combo deck. We have a video out on that. Our oh, traverse is nice, but I don't we only have a Storm Herald. Hmm. Yeah, I should just put these on the right side. I wonder if that's too much information. We're gonna head a Wayfinder. And I'll maybe other world of gaze on upkeep if we're not at anything. Other world of gaze can help us find a red source for the turn. I guess they're thinking about countering the wayfinder, which is like sort of wild. They're trying to work out what's going on, probably. Maybe they know. While uh, it's not like a brand new deck or anything. It's been around in some forms. And Traverse is really what's put in. Traverse is really the card that's uh, been picked up by that's like kind of put it over the top. Hasn't always been present. Um, we did hit a red source. I'm gonna go ahead and cast this. We also don't have a way to get um, prodigious growth into our green. This is like a pile of enablers. I'm a little worried they have like a graveyard trespasser, but fine. Oh, we want to play Gorge this time. Draft. Maybe we should commit to doing this later on. No, we want this. Oh, we just get the red source in there. We can attack. Get him to stay away from him. Alright, 
Alright, alright. Is that like a Storm's Herald? If... I don't know what's up, I don't know what's going on over there. Hmm. Okay, this might be a Mount of the Wolf game. But for now, I'm gonna leave this one with my Vanguard. Try and set things up. Alright, Traverse is nice. Uh, we have other one of the gays. Move to combat. Let's see what goes on here. Then we go to 16. Uh, if they're playing Alteration Combo, we'll just... Um... I guess they don't have it. They need the outfit in play. Go ahead and do this. I've not thought about like toolbox lands. Like, we could toot it for Awara here, but and we could toot it for Beside You actually, which is quite nice. That is a big score. Okay. Maybe just Grixis um, creativity, to be fair. Could easily be. Okay, less likely now that they've done that. And they want to shut that off, for whatever reason. There's also two for an enabler here. Going traverse for say we find this seems pretty. We've got two zombies of Storm's Herald. Oh, uh, grabbing a ledger shredder seems pretty good. Yeah. We collect like ledger shredder gaze next time. I think that's fine. Okay. Let's see, let's see. Rexus, a big score. I also um supposed to be able like the Chandra combo now. Yeah, that's interesting. I'm gonna shot myself for this. I'm gonna leave with the Legacy like, Shredder. If they have a response for this, if they don't, I'll play a Storm Serrant. I'm gonna do some damage, I think. Divide by zero. Sure. Um, how much damage is this? Three, eleven, twelve. What's in the? F hmm. hey. I don't think that's enough to warrant kind of going for it, so to speak. Design by Zero actually does speak to being like something like a Chandra Neck. Uh, Chandra Host Beacon is like a combo engine, like be able to copy a bunch of spells, and that also explains like the big scores and stuff. Alliances, that makes sense, that finds a fifth land for the Chandra. Uh, I actually think that's what they are at. Um, one, yeah, four, eight, eleven, twelve. Yeah, we've got like two hasty creatures. We only got one mana right now. I'm just gonna run this out. Uh. Them up. I should put them both on the storm tower. This is bad. Um, but we're in a position. He's got XR, we don't get the wolves, unfortunately. But our opponent is now at four life. Six life with the sciences. Let's see where they go here. Yeah. From the Vibe by Zero package with big score, I would lean towards them being like playing a Chandra deck. And so, realistically, they want to go big score here on this turn. Obviously, they're going to have to defend themselves from a potentially lethal attack. We'll see. A, a, red type, a red source might just be our best draw off the top here, actually. 
Ooh. Could, could it also be like Grixis Control? I've not seen a Maestro's Charm cast an Explorer, I don't think. Pretty solid. Uh we have a way to get to land. So we can go Ledger Shredder into Storm's Herald here. Let's go Otherworldly Gaze into Storm's Herald to try and find a, uh, an enchantment to put in here. For, for lethal. Checking I don't actually have lethal right now. Okay. Hmm. That's tough. I think we're best off fabling though. Obviously they know about the shredder, which is makes us feel a little bit weird, but I think this is in the, this puts us in the best spot. Seven mana. Cruel to me him. Why the mana? Okay, invoke. It's a clean answer of Fable. They've got two mana here. Uh, we also don't get to loot, which is big. We cast the Shredder. Cast the Storm Serald. Yeah, that's not the nuts. I'm gonna discard this. All right, they don't have like a bunch of giant or two mana as well. All right, well we take that one. Wasn't smooth, but hey. All right, second match. See what goes on. Okay. Very sure the fable makes you feel fairly confident, no matter what goes on here. We'll, we'll see how things go. We'll see how things go. The opponent is on the play. They're on Gigantha. Could be something. Well, it'd be like the Boris convert Kogak back. I like Boris Hogak, but it is. Um, we'll keep some. Sorry. Could be something like Red White Heroic. No, okay, it's Hogak. There's a three minutes better. Right. We don't have a lot of interaction. So while they won't have very much interaction for us, we do run the risk of getting ran over here. Kind of aggroed out. So I will say the difference between the actual like nut draws here and the slower draws is so huge. Uh, they played Ornithopsis, they probably do like a Legion's Landing, I'd imagine. A bit of a guess. I want to play the Ledger Shredder because they're almost certainly going to cast two spells next time. Inspector. Now well, let's convert something. Oh, there we go. Demolition. Uh, the Sage is actually not up to a ton here. We don't have a great enchantment to discard. Uh, do I have time to go through two fables? The answer is maybe. I don't want to discard a land here, basically. But I think it might be the right correct. It might be the correct decision. We're definitely not needing all of these. They're just slightly more useful than the breeding pool. They could work out here. Basically, want to use fable to loot towards uh, those big enchantments. We'll see how that works out for us. Knight Errant finds two more Knight Errants. This is the Hogak element in the deck, just finding infinite creatures. To... Ooh, okay. Yeah, that's a lot. Alright, alright. Well. Also a giant color which can interact with the storm. For me. Uh, that's a lot of power. I think I'm going to cast two spells. We are in some trouble. I'm going to put a fable into play. Sorry. Okay, I'm going to So, this deck is put in an interesting position, actually. The Regal Earsaw makes this super easy, I guess. 
Um, because I already have a bunch of attackers still untapped. Okay, they're gonna spend more time, which is good for us. We're getting the push growth right away. That's what we want. We also have to attack through a bunch of full force now. We will see. No matter what, we are dead on their next turn because the Leosaur is going to give them um, all their creatures plus T plus one. We don't actually have very much interaction. You could, I think, build them to be a bit more interactive, but like, we already you need a critical mass of enablers to get the cards into a graveyard. You can kind of see that this is already a bit of an issue. Um, uh, well, there's, I'm not going to block. There's not point. We're already definitely dead next turn. All right, Man's the Wolf's good. We'll get rid of these two. Um, yeah. Seven, eleven, fourteen. Uh, oh, they have five power backs. Twenty-one. Three. Twenty-one. Fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. I think that... Oh, we just don't have a way to cast these spells, right? Uh, there's absolutely no way we can live. <laughs> we'll just hope they block well. Yeah, 13 here, unfortunately, that you do have blockers. That's the other thing, is if we, I was like, if we can cast two spells, unfortunately we're not getting the treasure until we go to combat. This would be a second spell on the Ledger Shredder. I'm just going to cast this to see if we lose. If this card is an enchantment, okay, it's not. No. Alright, well, we are still really, truly dead. Alright, little two slow versus go to this is definitely a game where if we get another turn, I think we get there because we can get another Fable kind of like set of loots through. But hey. Alright, all right, match number three. Yeah, kind of got ran over by Hogak there. You can see how powerful that deck is. You also have a video on that if you haven't seen it already. Uh, okay, so here we have Fable plus Growth. Uh, Travas gives us a way to tutor for Storm Herald. We, again, are a little in danger of our opponent just being super fast because we're not doing anything until turn three. However, because we have a growth already, because we've got Traversa Tutor before we've got Fables, we're in a pretty reasonable spot. As long as we don't get run over. Right. Mono Green definitely has some potential for that, but... Hey. We should at least get a couple of turns after Fable. Ooh, Elves, interesting. Elves are one of my favorite decks. Just in that Explorer, Pioneer, Modern, played it a ton. <laughs> it's the deck I think I've made the most videos on on the channel in general. Let's go this away. And it definitely has the ability to punish us if we don't have any interaction, which we do not. One of the things you'd be able to sideboard into is like being able to play a more of an interactive game plan. Um, but. So we have a growth in the graveyard, we want to fable next turn. We're gonna be very close to turning on Traverse shortly. Um I think we're in a spot where we can afford to go. Oh, they're on growing rights, interesting. You know, despite having played a ton of elves, I've not played any elves with growing rights. Which feels weird. I see no attacks here. Ah, oh, they'll play an elf. And they'll be able to flip this, get their guy's cradle online. Better than guy's cradle. Taps for that green too. Uh, I will block to get the. Uh, I should block next turn, but mm -hmm. yeah, no. no blocks. Next turn will be pumped. Be able to block more damage. That's the that's the logic there. There is a storm tower, so we don't actually need to tutor one one anymore. We'll play the spy book canal now. Fable up. Prepare to make some blocks, because we'll need to. 
And next turn, ideally, we get to go otherworldly gaze. Well, otherworldly gaze into. I need to set, set my upkeep. Table looting into. Storm Herald for maybe lethal. We'll see, we'll see. Yeah, so. Now the pack actually being able to find the creature enables is super, super nice. So we'll say that, and it's a really, really strong enable, just kind of in general. In the Pioneer version of the deck, obviously you need to find a classification and a Burning Anger. Need one of each, it's really quote unquote win. There's so much damage actually. We're in 19. We survived the Onslaught, but close. They have a couple of blockers. Um, so, assuming they have more creatures to play, they have, they have two lines, right? They can either try and cast a bunch more creature spells with the L with the leaf canvas and draw cards, or they can pump their team with the Ore Master. In which case, we've got four, eight. Uh... Right, there goes the tax. So. Fine. Well, they're not attacking with everything. This makes a matter for the number of creatures you can draw. We've got more than enough to activate this. I don't think there's anything can have an instant speed. So I expect these elves to be attacking. Basically. Uh have they played a land? I don't think they have. No, they definitely Um as maybe they have like Shame of the Pack to finish. Maybe that's what they're saving for. It's easy with blockers, and I make these blocks. It maybe have got away. Let's see, like here, yeah. It's like A. And the danger is that if they have like overgrown tomb, shame into the pack. That's what we have to block with both. Right. Let's otherworldly gaze here. Okay, that's good. We just want to get as close as possible. Draw. Uh, yeah, we don't get that, do we? Oh, unless there's a way to, to live. No, we need this couple of forest, don't we, that way? The gorge can go. The Fable can go. Bustin'. Yeah, it's not quite there. We're definitely dead this time. Seven, fifteen. They're at twenty. Big old Sage. We should count the number of times that we got to kill them if we had that again. again. If we have one of each enchantment, they're pseudo dead. We can just. Oh, dead. It also could be holding up a Seiji here, which. Uh, well, I guess makes some sense. Actually. Just not quite there. So there's another couple of routes you could go with the deck. I know I'm talking about this like 30 minutes into the video. Yeah, got dead. Um. But you could try and play like more enchantments. The problem is that actually after Prodigal Growth, it'll get pretty miserable. Uh, the plus four plus four when we're using that makes wolves, like if you were to cast it fairly, is the biggest statistical buff, but it's all pretty sparse. There's like a plus game four, game five. I'm not actually sure anymore. Uh, interesting. A land start, but it's fine. This is, we would like to see less lands and like more wayfinders in general, I think. One nice thing about Secret Keeper is that the like other half gives you something you can use to trigger a ledger shredder. It's kind of underrated, I think. Just in terms of like I think you could well, I mean you're not playing the cards together often, like okay, maybe saying it's underrated is a bit silly, but hey. Okay. They're like, that's an interesting pile of cards, what are you doing? But it has turned on our uh traverses. We wanna find a land here to be able to fable. The plan. We'll take a sp uh, take a spy buff canal. Now we've kind of given the game away, though. They're like, ah, oh, it's a product of growth. I see what's going on here. 
I see what's happening here. Yeah. yeah. So, hey. He revealed. Yeah, I guess we should do that around. Let's attack. Crazy. Appears to be red black. So, they're going to have removal for our kind of storm guy. But that is totally fine, I think. I think. Since they don't play, at least so far, haven't played it to the board much. If they want to play to the board, they have to commit mana that they're not using to kill. Oh. Goblin does not get to gobble. Um. It's like they can both crush a giant here, but at least they're open. Like, Again, similarly here, they're committing Fable, but. They don't know what's going on. I don't want this couple of English. And I think that the other card we want to discard is a mutt. Okay, that is fine. My plan here is to go Ledger Shredder plus Secret Keeper. And we'll discard this. And we just place the land as well. No attacks. Alright, so now we have a Mantle, a British Growth in the Graveyard. That's 11. The other thing is that once they have good answers for Ladder Shredder, which hey, they probably have pretty efficient answers. Uh, children, please, not, not do the most. We do still have to find uh, a Storm Herald though. Um, which should either be a Storm Herald or a, uh, three Storms Herald or, by, by words, a Traverse. Excuse me. We still need to answer this, we're still not in the worst spot. The Ledger Shredder's gonna cost us some life, but I think we kinda have to deal with that. We can also, they're also gonna be able to pressure our opponent here, which is great. We wanna be a little careful. Um, I think I'm taking water cast this. Uh, 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 I don't want need this. I think we may be dead to going on over there. If not, we get like one more turn of this. I don't think we'll actually need to worry about fable activation. Okay, it's another growth of the graveyard. We ju we literally just need to find. Uh, a storm herald, and you know, hopefully, have them tap out or something. Just remember to put a stop on my upkeep to other worldly gaze. Uh, this is not great. Are we just gonna die to shoulder triggers? Um, maybe. They are tapping out here to do this. Okay. Oh, oh. painful. All right, so we just need a storm herald. We just need to block. I think it's fine. Yeah. Oh, they have. They have. Uh. Oh no. I'd rather do this than make them use. I should have double blocked. I think that's fine. Maybe throwing one of the legend traders under the bush would be smart. It's gonna draw for turn. Yeah, we literally can't. Oh, I can't cast two. Oh, I'm so dumb. We should have put a legend trader here. Uh, let's gaze. Just see if we would have got there. Uh, we would not have done. 
All right, all right. Well, this is a fairly winnable game. I could have, could have played this better. Um, if we put a Legend Shredder under here, then we at least get to like. Oh, we get to otherworldly. Uh, we can't really do the world going twice because we still need three mana. But we could have given ourselves a bit more space to work with here to assemble something. Um, as it is, I think this is game four, isn't it? Uh, let's keep this one up. We'll play one more. Alright, game five. I think we're one and three right now. Hopefully we can pick up a W here. We do have the Storm Herald, which was elusive to us last game. We're kind of looking forward to win. Um, but, this looks very solid. Have lost a lot of die rolls, to be fair. There you go. I'll complain a little. Okay. Cats and rats. Hmm... Secret Keeper versus Gaze. We just want to put. We basically want to see as many cards in Tower as possible. We have everything else. I'm just going to Secret Keeper for now. Alright. That gives a little away. One nice thing here is that we're not really. Like, ooh. Harvester. Do I offer up a Ledger Shredder to the. I think I do. That's fine. One thing is that we'll have a bit more time here. We shouldn't be under like super fast pressure. We'll see, we'll see. Also happily just slam the fable. I expect by the harvest to just be cashed in to kill Elijah Shredder here, which seems fine. Well, seems fair. They're thinking about it. They're thinking about it. They might just attack, Let's see. No, no. They don't want to risk it. Sticking around getting bigger. But you know, makes sense. We will slam a fable. I really actually don't have loads of this guard to it. Our, our mission here is just finding enchantments to put in the graveyard. Or Storm Herald. Oh no. Ooh, I still there's no pressure. This certainly helps. They have a way to okay, don't have a way to sack a token away. Uh I will discard these lands for now. Okay. Uh... Oh dear. They still have them as a cast? Okay. Yeah. I should have said, I should have set a stop. <laughs> Not the greatest. It's stuff like if you what if you, what you draw fable is never gonna be like if we draw. It's always gonna feel bad drawing pretty correct, I think. We um I don't want to give them cards of the unlucky witness here. If we other world against three three cards, we can still just draw it off. Bad for us. Okay, they have a lot they can sacrifice here. I'm gonna go ahead and shoot down the secret keeper, which actually, you know, feels okay. Yeah, sure. So, a mot in a graveyard would help a lot. They have the ability to just turn this off. Okay, they're gonna claim the first one instead. We'll do damage here. Yeah, it does give them some... Oh, if they can leave enough stuff in play. You get a treasure. Might be they just sacrifice the treasure to kill the... token. I wonder. They have sacrificed it for green, so it's better. Right, so then we're looking to otherworldly gaze here. A number of times. Okay. That me. Got it. Uh, Mutt in the Graveyard, good. Drawing the Secret Keeper isn't literally the worst. We only have Gaze we can get. A flipping Fable too. Can we flip Fable and live? We're on how much life? Uh, unlikely, given... Oh, they actually have very long cards. I'm going to close the graveyard for now. We've got other ones to cast.
Oh no. Uh, maybe we'll land. Land, let's just put the producer growth in the rate mode. <laughs> Is that good enough? I don't think it is. Oh, this is so tough. Okay. I'm really just gonna bronze up. So... There's some stuff going on here. First, let's just... Let's just... Make sure we're using... Let's just have a look and see what we hit here. Oh. We need one more enchant- like, one more enchantment would get there. Um... Yeah, we can't... I'm gonna try and live. Is it sacrifice or exiled? It's exiled, I mean, like, so... do this now to save some mana? Yeah. If they want, let me get them. Okay, let's see what they draw. They got two cards in hand, they've got a blood in play. We're at five. We should hopefully be able to get the block a little bit. That leader dispute is not a great start to that for us, I'll be honest. That is bad. Alright. Uh, tap land. Thought sees, takes the Storm Herald. Not about that. Yeah, Storm Herald on the top doesn't get there now. I'd say it was just a Mayhem Devil, doesn't make much sense either. We'll make this block. I mean, we drew Fable. We have an add to <sighs> We're not dead. Not quite yet. I will say the reflection token does get sacrificed. That is a problem. This is also a huge problem. To be clear. What's the last card? What's the last card gonna Oh okay. There's a way we can do this, I think. Be so careful with the uh, bridges and stuff, though. Um, if we let us hit, we're gonna add a three. By the way, we're not gonna be able to sacrifice two things. Uh, so on end step, make a token. Guard these two cards. We are not quite there. I can set the tokens and die. Uh -oh. Was that not avoidable? We get there, we get there. Yeah, if they block one of the... If they put something on the ten, right? Three. <laughs> Screw the mess. <laughs> well, yeah, three seven. They go. They go to one, right? If they block here, instead they block with two two. All right. Well, that's a funny one. <laughs> Had to play three, I guess. Hope you enjoyed the video. Deck is sweet. Is it good enough to compete in Explorer in its current state? No, not really. Um, at least not like the top 
here and oh hell yeah not, it's just a bit too clunky hopefully we get burning anger or some other way to get around that classification ability and hey if you got this far please do like and subscribe really appreciate it and uh yeah take care thanks for watching